Okay, let's find out uh, the general solution for the probability of being in any state in uh, steady state for a, uh, for a birth death process. So remember that the probability of being in any state uh, in the stationary probability distribution is given by this equation over here in, in uh, sort of compact form. We have the vector pi 0 star, pi 1 star, pi 2 star, etc. And then this is multiplied by the Q matrix, and we're going to set the product is equal to 0. And so uh, if we take the first value, we basically see that uh, pi 0 star times minus lambda 0, so minus lambda 0 pi 0 star plus mu 1 pi 1 star equals 0. That's just expanding from the first column. And so uh, we can just do a little bit of manipulation and write down pi 1 star is equal to lambda 0 by mu 1 pi 0 star. Sorry, pi 0 star. Pi 0 star over there. So uh, that gives us one equation. And so if you know the probability of being in pi 0, we know uh, in state 0, the steady state, we know how to get to the steady state for pi 1. It's just multiply this probability pi 0 star by lambda 0 by mu 1. And now we can substitute this into the second uh, column. And if you do that, a little bit of manipulation, we find that pi 2 star is given by uh, lambda 0, lambda 1 by mu 1, mu 2 pi 0 star which has this nice little pattern going. And generally speaking for pi j star is going to be lambda 0, lambda 1, all the way up to lambda j minus 1 over mu 1, mu 2, all the way up to mu j, pi 0 star. And you can represent this as pi 0 star times product from i equals 0 to j minus 1, lambda i by mu i plus 1. So uh, this is the general form for pi j star. But of course, everything is going to be expressed in terms of pi 0 star. So how do we find pi 0 star in the first place? Well, we know that these probabilities all sum to 1. So sigma pi i star equals 1, i equals 1 to j. We're going to look at for all, all the states. And so uh, we can therefore write down uh, pi 0 star is given by 1 over 1 plus sigma j equals 1 to infinity, the product of i equals 0 to j minus 1, lambda i by mu i plus 1. So this is a little bit complicated, but it's uh, worth unpacking and looking at it carefully to make sure you understand it. But it's essentially all it's doing is substituting in this equation over here the values for pi j star and then doing a little bit of algebraic manipulation. And that gives us the value of pi 0 star. And then we can go back and substitute that over here for pi 1 star, pi 2 star, etc. And that gives us the probability of being in every state. Now, one thing to watch out for is that this bottom sum over here is, uh, is an infinite sum. And you have to make sure that it converges. If it doesn't converge, then of course we have a problem because then we don't have the right uh, values. There must exist some uh, j naught such that for all j greater than j naught, for all values greater than j naught, lambda j is less than mu j. Uh, what does this mean? It means that once we get to the state j naught, all arrivals rates are less than service rates. And so we kind of have this, uh, if you draw it like this, we have some chain. And then uh, if we get to some value, j, this is state j naught. Then after that, we must always have the, the probability, so the transition rates, 
to return down towards zero, towards the state zero, to be higher than the rates at which you're going up. So you're kind of getting the pulling the queue back down, the population size back down towards zero. Otherwise, the queue gets unbounded. And if the queue gets unbounded, we will not get convergence of this term. And in fact, this pi zero star becomes undefined. So we, uh, this is the uh, convergence problem uh, uh, of a birth death process is reflected exactly in the convergence of this sum over here.